Okay, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Math Channel, and I'm now answering question number 14 from exercise 4C of the Pure Mathematics P3 International A Level Pearson's at Excel textbook. This is chapter 4 from Trig Edition Formulae, and um, <clears throat> this was requested by one of my students for me to answer. And it states that given that theta is between pi and 3 pi over 2, Find the value of tan of theta over 2 when tan theta equals 3 quarters. So we've got to link together these two, tan theta over 2 and tan theta. And what we have to recognize here is the fact that this angle here, theta, is twice angle theta over 2. So we can relate these two together using the formulae for tan 2 theta, the double angle formula. So tan 2a, for example. Now, what is the identity for tan 2a to turn it into tan a? Now, that's what we have to know. Now, that's not given in the formula book. That's not given in the formula. Tan 2a, cosine 2a, sine 2a, how they, uh, those identities, they're not given in the formula book, how to write them as single angles. So we got to write this as a single angle, so then I can, you know, compare this is like the double angle this is like the single angle so if I want to write this you know these in terms of each other I have to know the identity for tan 2a and how it becomes you know the single angle a now what we do have in the formula book is something that will help us in case we forget so if you forget this identity what you need to do is look at the formula book and you will find this identity in the formula book which is tan a plus minus b equals tan a plus minus tan b over 1 minus plus tan a tan b so what this means is, supposing I want to find the, the identity for tan 2a. Well, I can think of tan 2a as tan of a plus another a. That's tan 2a. And I can replace this b with an a. Therefore, I'm going to replace this b with an a. And I'll replace this b with an a in the identity. So I have tan a, and because it's plus here, this is plus, that's going to be plus, tan a plus tan a. That's going to give me 2 times tan a over... I have 1, I'm going to have a plus on the top here, the plus, that's going to be a minus. I have tan A times tan A, which is tan squared A. Okay, so this is the ident identity for tan to A. So tan to A therefore becomes 2 tan A over 1 minus tan squared A. Okay, so that is how we go about finding the, the, the identity, basically. Okay, so that's how we... Find the identity. If you forget it, it's quite easy to derive by looking at the formula book. So now, I know in this case, I can think of my theta over 2 as A. So in our formula, A is theta over 2. And I can think of my th my my um, 2A as theta. Okay? So I can rewrite this as, instead of tan 2A, I can say tan theta equals... Instead of a, I'll put theta over 2. That's how I can relate it to these angles, because this is t twice that. This is the double of theta over 2. So I can say tan of theta equals 2 tan, 2 times tan of theta over 2, divided by 1 minus tan squared theta over 2. And to make life easier now, I can replace, for example, let me, I need to solve this equation for tan theta. I need to find, it says find the value of tan theta over 2. I have to find the value of, of tan theta over 2. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace my tan theta over 2 with x. So I'll say let x be tan theta over 2. x is tan, tan theta over 2. So let x be tan theta over 2. And I know already that tan theta is 3 quarters. So I can replace the tan theta with 3 quarters. And I can replace the tan theta over 2 with x. So this will be 2x over 1 minus, and tan squared theta over 2, remember, the tan squared of theta over 2 is the same as the tan of theta over 2 all squared. That's what it means. So this, this is like tan of theta over 2 all squared, so I can replace that with x squared. So now, if I solve this equation for x, the, what, what values I get for x will be the values of tan theta over 2. So if I cross multiply, I have 3 times 1 minus x squared is equal to 4 times 2x, which is 8x. Expanding the bracket, I have 3 minus 3x squared 
is equal to 8x. Now I have a quadratic equation here, which I can bring everything on one side. So I'm going to um, add 3x squared and subtract 3 from both sides, which will give me 3x squared. It will give me plus 8x minus 3 equals 0. So I've just basically added 3x squared and subtracted 3 from both sides. So I ended up with 3x squared plus 8x minus 3 equals 0, which is this. Okay. So now I want to factorize this to try and solve it. I think it does factorize. You can factorize it in different ways. You can split the middle term. You can use the window method, which I like to use. So you have 3x squared in the top corner and minus 3 in the bottom right corner. Find the numbers that multiply to give you the product of negative 9x squared and add to give you the middle term. The sum is 8x. So it's obviously 9 and 1. It's going to be negative. It's going to be positive 9x and negative 1x. That's going to give you negative 9x squared and positive x when you sub multiply and when you add. Okay, so now take out the common factor. On these two, it's 3x. Then 3x times something gives me 3x squared. Well, that's x. 3x times something gives me plus 9x. That's plus 3. And x times minus 1 gives me minus x. So I'm left with 3x minus 1 times x plus 3 equals 0. Let's make a quick check. 3x squared plus 9x minus x. That's 8x minus 3. That's correct. So I can say x equals 1 third and x equals negative 3. So we know that the tan of theta over 2 is either 1 third or the tan of theta over 2 is negative 3. Now, there's a little um, condition here because it says find the value of tan theta and it, they told us that theta lies between pi and 3 pi over 2. So there's something we have to be careful about. This is the tan of not theta, theta over 2. So we know that theta lies, okay, between, as I said, pi and 3 pi over 2. So pi and 3 pi over 2. Well, that's in the third quadrant. That's pi and that's 3 pi over 2. But that's for theta. That's for theta. So theta over 2, how do we find what range of values theta over 2 is going to have? Well, you just divide theta by 2. So you divide the limits by 2 as well. So it's greater than pi over 2 and less than 3 pi over 4. Okay, less than 3 quarters pi. Right, so it's going to be somewhere, if it's greater than pi over 2, this is pi over 2, and less than 3 quarters pi, 3 quarters pi would be somewhere over here. So theta over 2 is going to be somewhere between, you know, these two. Somewhere in this range here. It's going to be somewhere in the second quadrant. Okay, so therefore we can say theta over 2 is in, the second quadrant for sure because it's more than it's more than um, pi over two more than 90 but less than three pi over four so it's less than uh, you know it's less than pi definitely so it's going to be definitely in the second quadrant all right so as it's in the second quadrant we can say therefore we can say the tan of the angle now in the sec second quadrant we have a s t c only the sign is positive in the second quadrant so this is going to be negative it's going to be negative value. So out of these two values, this must be the correct one. Okay, so therefore we can say the tan of theta over 2 has to equal negative 3. It can't equal a third because theta over 2 is in the second quadrant where the tangent is negative, not positive. So the only answer here, as it says, find the value of. Sometimes it might say find the possible values of tan theta over 2 and they don't give us information about the size of theta so therefore we can't figure out which one it's going to be it could be either of them in this case we know specifically that theta is between 180 and 270 so therefore theta over 2 is between 90 and 135 so it's going to be somewhere in the second quadrant somewhere in the second quadrant therefore tangent is negative in that place so tan theta over 2 is negative 3 so that's the answer to this question i hope that was clear thank you for watching other questions that you might want to find from this chapter, um, from the textbook, questions from the textbook will be found in the playlist over here. This playlist will be for questions from this particular chapter of P3. Um, other questions you might want to find from this uh, topic of trig addition formulae or trig questions from P3 can be found in general in this playlist. And you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. Thank you for watching and see you soon.